Hey guys, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today, I'm going to show you how to send your Bitcoin in this example from your Coinbase account on over to your Trezor One hardware wallet. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started and let's make this happen. Once you have your Coinbase app pulled up, go ahead to the bottom in the middle there. You're going to see that blue circle with the arrows. That's where you transact. Click it and then go ahead and uh, click on buy. From there, choose the cryptocurrency that you want to purchase. In this case, we're going to do Bitcoin. And from here, select the amount. I'm going to select $50. You can also choose a one-time purchase or click on it. And you can choose every week, every month, or the first and the 15th of the month. There are a couple options for you if you want to do more of like a dollar cost averaging in to Bitcoin. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to do a one-time purchase. So you can see the limit that's allowed to you as a user uh, that changes over time depending on how much you use the app, how much you purchase through Coinbase. Um, at this time, I just have a 35000 limit. Um, but... Let's keep moving on forward here. So go ahead and click on preview buy. On this screen, you're going to see all the details about the purchase that you're going to make. Not only the Bitcoin price as of today, but also the payment method you're using, the purchase price, the Coinbase fee. There is always a fee for purchasing. And then it totals up to that $50, as you can see. Um, one of the benefits that I like in terms of Coinbase, I am not a fan of Coinbase because they have locked people out on their platform in key swings of the market. You can watch my other videos on what has been going on in the past. But for this video, I can instantly transfer uh, the crypto that I purchased, in this case Bitcoin, instantly to the Trezor. So that's where I'm using it currently um, to show you through this video. So let's go ahead and click on buy now. Great, so the order was successfully submitted. You can see that I can trade immediately like I was mentioning earlier. So from there, you're gonna see the total at the top left, how much I have in my Bitcoin wallet currently on the Coinbase app. You can see your history of your pur purchases. What you're gonna do next is hop on over to the icon at the top right, that paper airplane icon, click that. You're then going to click on max, at least I am in this video. I want to send as everything that I have on my wallet on the Coinbase app. You may have purchased more and you only want to send a partial amount to your Trezor one. That's okay. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to do everything. In this two field is where you're going to put the receiving address from the Trezor one. And make sure, by the way, I tell everyone this all the time on these videos, make sure you're using not only the correct receiving address, that it is the full address, double and triple check it. I'll remind you once again before we do everything here. Um, but also make sure that you're sending to the correct cryptocurrency blockchain. So if, for example, I'm sending Bitcoin, you need to send it to a receiving Bitcoin address. Do not send it to Ethereum, do not send it to basic att attention token or uh, any of the other cryptocurrencies that are out there like Litecoin um, because if you send Bitcoin to something else, it's going to completely disappear. You cannot reverse that transaction, okay? So make sure you send it to the correct uh, blockchain that's similar to what you're sending, not similar, it needs to be exact to what you're sending currently. So in this case, Bitcoin to a Bitcoin address. Hope that makes uh, makes sense to you guys. So in the two field here, you need to grab that receiving address from your Trezor one, uh, and you can get that through the Trezor suite. So let's hop on over there and make that happen. Once you pull up your Trezor suite, you'll probably see this icon here on the screen telling me that I need to connect my device. So I'm gonna plug that in right now. Perfect, and then I need to enter my PIN. Once you have your Trezor suite opened up, go ahead and click on accounts. Go ahead and click on your Bitcoin account. I have already set that up on my Trezor. Um, I'm going to click on receive, show full address. 
So as you can see, you can see the receiving address not only on the Trezor One, but also here on the Trezor Suite. As I tell everyone, make sure that you double and triple check your receiving address to make sure you're not sending to an inaccurate address. Make sure it's on the same blockchain for, in this case, Bitcoin, sending to a Bitcoin address, but also that it is the complete address. Make sure that you copy the whole thing or use the QR code scanner to scan that into the Coinbase account. But let's jump on over to Coinbase right now and let's get this completed. So hop on over back to the Coinbase app and go ahead and see in that two section, copy and paste in that receiving address or scan the QR code with that QR scanner. Once you have that inputted in, go ahead and click preview send. On this screen here, you're gonna see the remaining details for sending that transaction or sending that uh, Bitcoin to your Trezor One. You're gonna see the address, double and triple check that. I know I sound like a broken record, but please do this. Double and triple check that address to make sure it is correct. You'll see what you're paying with. There's no Coinbase fee at this time. Uh, there is a network fee to send this BTC and then the total amount that I have available to send um, in this transaction. So then click send now. I'm then going to get a seven digit uh, code within a text and put that in and click submit. Perfect, it was successfully sent. Click done. And then we're gonna hop on over to the Trezor One or Trezor Suite app, I should say, to verify that that transaction came through. So once you hop into your Trezor suite, you're gonna be able to see the transaction has come through. Um, you can see the amount that is here in terms of Bitcoin or Ethereum, because those are the two accounts that I have on my Trezor. Um, but let's hop on over to accounts, because I wanna show you more details here. So you can click on the different accounts that you have. Um, you can see the amount that came in today as of doing this transaction. But here are more of the details here. You've got the transaction for today, the amount of BTC that came through. I have not sent any out on this Trezor because this is my educational Trezor. Um, but as you can see, you can scroll down further and see the actual transaction here, the address and the amount there as well. And that is how you send Bitcoin in this case of the video from your Coinbase account on over to your hardware wallet, your Trezor One in this case. If you guys have any questions, if you like this video, make sure to like the video, put that thumbs up for me. That helps the algorithm and get content out to other people to help them as well. Make sure to comment if you have any questions about the video or anything in relation to a Trezor One. I'd be more than happy uh, to answer questions as best I can. I don't know everything, but I'll do my best, best to help you out. If you have any questions or if you just like this content, feel free to subscribe. Be more than happy to see you follow along on this journey that I'm on as well. Make sure to get outside, enjoy the beautiful weather, enjoy this day that you've been blessed with, and have an awesome day, guys. All right, over and out.